Hi guys, uh, welcome back to my channel. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to resolve this problem. Uh, in case actually you encountered this uh, issue, uh, maybe on your uh, virtualization environment, I'm going to guide you on how to uh, take ownership of the virtual machine. Well, this normally occurs when you have an, inter I mean, actually an expected power uh, cutout on your laptop and maybe the, uh, the hypervisor or uh, yeah, the, 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 the VMware was actually running the virtual machines. So uh, this indicates that actually the machine, mach the virtual machine has actually, you see, the virtual machine appeared to be in use, meaning it's been locked. So we cannot actually uh, take ownership easily because if I try to click on or take ownership, nothing happens. And also if I try to go and try to open the virtual, virtual machine, uh, it's this one still we encounter the same problem so how do you resolve this one just cancel and go to your files where the virtual machine is it's this one right and among the files you will notice some folders with dot lock okay so ensure uh, you open you confirm that's locked actually you go here this dot lock and also here, dot lock. So what I'm gonna do, I'm going to de delete all the three folders, but be very careful, don't delete any necessary file. Ensure that whatever you're deleting is dot lock file, right? Okay, so let me just do it. Exactly. So when I come back to um, our um, VMware here, and I try to open the virtual machine, I choose this one and open. So you see, I won't encounter the problem again. So that's how to resolve the uh, the issue that pops up whenever actually you have an expected power cutoff that actually leads to your virtual machine being locked and you cannot use them anymore. Thank you so much and let's see you again in the next video. Bye.